Okay, this is part six of our tutorial series. And uh, now let's work on this. Let me get my trailer. Let's work on this. On this uh, short grass. So you can see the sample I was using here. Uh, that's what I'm using to populate this grass. So let's create that first and uh, see how things go. So again, we're going to be using the. Let me just delete everything here. Hopefully, I retain the materials. Uh, we're going to be using uh, a hair system to populate uh, that grass. So what we can start with, uh, we, instead of using uh, planes uh, to create the grass, I'm just I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use a curve object to create uh, the blades of grass. And the reason for this is that uh, if you have this, uh, you can if you have a curve, you can control the resolution of uh, the grass after you populate it like this. Uh, easily and uh, also bend uh, the curve, bend the grass much, much more easily. So let me just read this 90 degrees and can you hit V and then select a handle type as, set the handle type as automatic to straighten this up, move it up so that the last control point is set as the pivot point uh, position so that if you rotate this, you can see it rotating at, it's rotating at its pivot point. Now we can select this, move it Basically what I'm trying to do is create a single blade uh, like that. Now it's just a line here and uh, it doesn't render in material mode if you turn off these overlays. But uh, so we need to give it some bit of thickness. Now, so if we go to the curve settings under geometry, we can go to the bend to the bevel, increase the bevel like so. Uh, you can see this is what we have. Actually, before we even start bending this, what I usually like to do is, uh, if I set this to automatic again, everything to automatic, make sure that these are aligned. I want the shape to be a bit triangular. Sorry, a bit, I think it's called a rhombus. So, uh, and uh, as you can see, this is a lot of resolution for, uh, for grass. And uh, since we're going to have a lot of these uh, blades, uh, we don't have we don't want to have that much resolution so I'm just going to reduce this uh, this vertical resolution to about six and then for the bevel resolution let's have something like one actually zero so that we have that kind of I think it's called let's just call it a kite I think it's called a rubber so I'm not sure but uh, I want this to be straightened so let me just first straighten it and I want this blade of grass be this kind of shape like that because that's how grass grows and uh, I want the tip to be a bit sharp so control a uh, I think it's called is alt s to scale that just select this alt s uh, to scale that uh, to kind of have a taper effect uh, for the grass so that is smaller is smaller at the tip and then larger at the bottom so alt s to have something like this now we can give it uh, the material we want so again i'm just going to use this array vela material just tweak it a bit i'm going to remove uh, these textures since we don't want them let me just preview the material itself i don't want any of those details so let me, let me find the noise i don't want this texture can also remove get rid of this node here reusing your assets or materials is very very time saving so you don't always start from scratch I want to remove also this noise I don't want uh, this to have any bump because that will also increase computation power uh, without adding any visual difference uh, let's see we want our gradient to still be the same to still be top to bottom so let's make sure that that's still true let's make sure that's still true yeah I think that is true but, uh, we need I want the tip to be white to be brown are uh, the tip to be brown because I, I found that to add some great detail to be 
you know I'm not sure if this gradient is rotated correctly so I'm just going to add a new car ramp here just to pre just for preview purposes to make sure that this gradient is correct has the right orientation and I think it doesn't so we need to rotate this let me first apply uh, rotation and scale yeah I think it does so I'm just going to remove this again preview this yeah I, I want uh, the tip to be a bit uh, dry like that and I can have that variation and that also that randomness here will come into play yeah something like that don't need this you can also use this uh, to kind of create random roughness for each of the blades we are going to use for the particle system so now that we have this blade i can rename it using f2 let's call this brass blade Now, if I add a plane, just give it a hair particle, select this, change the render as from, from path to object and select this as the path. And see, we're getting uh, the orientation problem again. So let's set the cursor to be at the pivot point of this blade. Go to edit mode, make sure you are, your, pivot po your pivot point is set to 3D cursor. You can rotate this 90 degrees on the x-axis negative 90 degrees on the x-axis so that uh, the grass is pointing up you can see this is what we have for our grass but uh, we want it to look like this bent and everything so what we're going to do let me first rotate this in object mode 90 degrees so that is still back is still straight and uh, now we can start adding in those bends. So I can select this. And I can see we have that kind of blade. Now, now I can duplicate, select everything, duplicate this, rotate this. Uh, let me just change this to back to middle point. I rotate this by 180 degrees. So we're just creating a bunch of other blades you can see the more you add uh, the more the better it looks so the better it looks and uh, if you go to the curve settings you also have the option to to render full or just front or back and see uh, this will also reduce uh, the uh, the resolution of your grass making it easier for you to have more grass in your scene without slowing your computer too much uh, so we can also go back to the particle system and uh, change randomize uh, the particles a bit so let's turn on advanced go to run to rotation play with that a bit uh, make sure that uh, the orientation axis is set to normal play with the phase play with the rotation so that we get some random some randomness and again play with the scale a bit now you can increase uh, the particle count let's try 5000 you can see we already have good looking grass uh, if you want to be a bit detailed we can just add in extra blades and the great thing with this is that uh, if you are the great thing about using uh, let me just pull this down the great thing about using curves instead of meshes are for the grass is that uh, they don't take a lot of they don't use a lot of resources and uh, when your grass is start slowing down you can always easily reduce uh, the resolution of the grass and you can easily also 
change uh, the shape of the grass. So if I wanted to have some really tall grass, you can see, can easily just do that. And you can see how we have a nice gradient fade there. You know what, I actually can, I'm also going to include, include this in my asset pack for the grass. Let me increase the resolution here because I think this grass looks good. Way better than I expected it might look. So I'm just going to in also add this into my asset pack. So I can also duplicate this. Again, creating variation in your grass, making another shorter blade like that. You can go back to the settings here, play around with uh, play around with the randomization. You can see we have some nice looking grass. And the, the great thing about this is that uh, if say you have Let's see, let's see, let's see, what should we have? If you have a plane or a surface like this, let's sculpt uh, this for a second, just so that we have uneven surfaces. Turn off my mirror. Just so we have some bit of uneven ground here. Go back to edit. You can subdivide this a few times and uh, give it a surface, a, a, a shrink wrap modifier. So that it's like that. And make sure that it's above, the shrink wrap modifier is above the, uh, the particle hair system. And now you can move this around and it's, it will always be on top. It will always be on top of your uh, surface. see and uh, when you scale this up it will occupy more of the surface uh, you can see we're starting to see the plane at the emitter so we can go to this display turn off the instancer so that we don't see it when you scale it down you have more instances in one in one area so you can easily populate an area and you can see how I think this looks quite nice I increase crank this up so that we have more grass in our view can easily have more grass more grass like that I think I like this batch here so I'm just going to use it in my asset pack as well which you can get on my patreon page or gumrod page so yeah we have our grass. I'm just going to save this as three. 